Oh god, not this fucking movie. I do not understand why they made this movie in the fucking first place. Boston George sucks at drug smuggling. He's one of the worst drug dealers I ever seen in my entire life of drug dealers. This guy sucks balls, man. This guy is a fucking embarrassment to all drug dealers. He's one of the worst I ever seen. Like, I have lost count of how many times this guy got fucking caught by the police and FBI and DEA and shit like that. I do not understand why Johnny Depp even played this guy in the fucking first place. Like I said, this guy sucks. This 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 guy in real life sucks ass as fucking drug dealing. He, he's one of the worst drug dealers I've ever seen. Should I even get into this fucking movie? Because the whole time I'm going to review this, I'm going to be pissed off throughout the whole time reviewing this fucking movie. I mean, look... The beginning of this movie was fine. It was decent. It was enjoyable. But then later on throughout the whole movie, it keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And sadder and sadder and sadder and sadder. That's how bad this movie gets. So, like I said, uh, Johnny Depp plays George Jung, but he's also known as Boston George. And he's a drug dealer. He sells drugs. Like, first off, he started off selling, like, marijuana then later on he gets out of jail he starts selling cocaine which is even worse than marijuana he started doing that and you know shit start getting all haywired and shit people start cutting him out of the whole you know drug dealing gang this and that shit went haywire like i said um ray liotta plays his dad fred jung he does a really good job in this film even Supley, you remember him from uh mall rats and other kevin smith movies and unstoppable Tony Scott film, he plays his best buddy Tuna, which I don't know what happened to Tuna throughout the, later on in the movie. I'm like, what the hell happened to Tuna? I'm like, where the fuck is Tuna? Where the hell did he went? You see him in the, in the fucking picture right there. Like, what the fuck happened to that guy? Like, did they even explain what happened to Tuna? Like, where the fuck happened to his best buddy? I'm like, where the fuck is Tuna? Where the fuck is Tuna? So, this whole movie starts off where Johnny Depp as a kid, George Jung as a kid, uh, he lives with his family, really owes his dad, and he has this nagging fucking bitch broad wife. And she won't shut the fuck up. She's always nagging about this and that. She's always nagging at Ray Liotta because, oh, he has enough money to pay the bills in the house. Blah, 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 blah. He's not working a good job. Blah, 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 blah. This and that. He goes bankrupt. And his bitch is still fucking nagging and shit. She won't shut the fuck up. How are you divorce this bitch? Like, she ain't shit. She, and she has some fucking, like, leaving fucking... Uh, Ray Yoda and uh, fucking kid George Jung by themselves in a house and she leaves on a bus. Like, wh like what the fuck kind of f mother is that? No mother will leave their child behind like that. Like, she's a real fucking cunt. She's like a real fucking cunt bag. Is it just me or most of these women in this movie are a bunch of fucking mean rude bitches for some reason? I don't know if it's just me, but it just feels like that for some reason. Because she's not the only rude mean bitch in this movie besides, you know, George Jung's mother. There are worse ones in this movie besides her. We'll get to that soon. Oh, God. We'll get to that soon. And she's like one of the worst characters in this entire fucking movie. So later on, uh, fucking George Jung's older now with his best friend Tuna. You know, they're on a venture trying to, you know, sell some weed in Miami, this and that. And he ends up meeting Paul Rubens. Wait, was it Paul Rubens? I think it was Paul Rubens. Yeah, Paul Rubens. Uh, yeah, he, fucking Pee Wee Herman. He plays his drug dealer or something. I'm like, oh, wait. So for some reason, I, I, I thought that was somebody else. I, I, I didn't know that was Paul Rubens. I thought that was uh, Alan Cummings, I thought. You know, you, you remember Alan Cummings from uh, fucking Spy Kids? I thought, I, I thought that was that guy, but no, it was Paul Rubens. You know, Pee Wee Herman. I didn't know that because I was watching the movie. I was like, oh, that's Alan Cummings. Then I look it up. I was like, oh, it's Paul Rubens. So it was Paul Rubens. So Paul Rubens plays this fucking... Uh, this drug dealer guy, he has like this big pound of weed in a big giant bag, which you see in that picture right there. And Johnny Depp's like, the fuck is this? It's a big pound of weed. And that was a pretty funny scene. He's like, what the fuck is this? It was pretty funny. But, like I said, the whole beginning of the movie, that part, you know, this part, you know, the part with uh, him and Tuna, you know, with the bag of weed and stuff like that. I really enjoyed those parts. But later on, like I said, it gets worse and worse and worse. It wasn't good anymore after that. It was just getting really terrible. Just it gets like depressing and gets me fucking angry and shit. It's just not a really good movie in my opinion. I just don't like this movie. I understand this is based off the 
drug dealers real life and this and that i understand that but his life sucks he has like a real shitty life but it's his fault it's his fucking retarded fault because we'll get to that part soon but like i said it's his fucking fault but anyways uh so later on uh what else happened in this fucking movie uh he ends up getting like arrested or some shit like that because he went to go see his uh his mom and his pop at the house and his mom rats on him or something like that and the cops arrest him or something like that he was in, like in jail he was talking to these, these black people about uh how to sell drugs or something like that that was a pretty cool scene i really enjoyed that scene where he was talking to black people in prison about how to sell dope and stuff like that I thought that was a pretty cool scene. I really enjoyed that. Like I said, there are some memorable scenes I really enjoy. Like the scene he was like a scene where uh Johnny Depp and Tuna are in the fucking uh the room with Paul Rubens about the, the whole bag of weeds, like what the fuck is this? And I really enjoyed the scene where he's in like I said, in the prison scene where he's talking to black people about how to sell dope. I really enjoyed those scenes, but like I said, later on it just gets worse and I'm starting to not like the movie anymore because just the story's just fucking sucks <coughs> then later on uh george Jung gets out of prison and now he wants to upgrade instead of weed why not we sell cocaine so he goes down to mexico or mexico which most americans would pronounce it so they go he goes down to mexico and he goes down there and he talks to a bunch of these mexicans ask some questions where you know where who sells the cocaine around here this and that you know and this shit happens, that shit happens, and now they're talking to this guy. Uh, then, like, later on, he meets this fucking uh, Diego guy, and he was, he was like a real fucking clown. Like, I hated that fucking guy, Diego. He was like a real fucking tool, because he ends up, like, fucking cutting George out of the whole, you know, like, drug operations and shit. He cuts him out of it, and he cuts uh, Paul Rubin's ass out of it, too, and this and that. He's, that guy's a real asshole. I, I hate that guy, too. And, you know, fucking Tiny Depp meets fucking Pablo Escobar. He's played by Cliff Curtis. You remember his big-ass nose and everything? You know, you guys know who Cliff Curtis is. He's, like, in every fucking movie. He's fucking big nose, uh Indian, Mexican guy. Where the hell race he is? He, he, like, he like he's both. And he plays Pablo Escobar. He, he did all right playing Pablo Escobar, you know. At least Pablo Escobar lasted, like, over, like, so many years. He has, like, what, like eight. 10 years or something like that. That's how long he lasted with the drug business and shit. It's radical. <laughs> radical. <laughs> like fucking George Jung does not know how to handle his fucking drug empire. Like this guy doesn't know how to handle drug business at all. Like he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Like this guy is a fucking amateur. Like he gets caught constantly throughout this whole movie. Constantly he gets fucking caught. Left ass cheek, right ass cheek. He gets caught so many fucking times. This movie. I'm like, this guy sucks. Like, I, keep, I was getting fucking pissed off. Like, how many times does this guy get caught? I was like, how many fucking times are you gonna get caught, dude? Like, how many times are you gonna get fucking caught? Like, this, this is this is pathetic. Like, this is embarrassing. Like, how many times is this guy gonna get fucking caught? Like, honestly. Then, like, uh, let's see what else happened. This fucking week besides him getting fucking caught so many times. Uh, it's like 57 minutes left and Penelope Cruz shows up and oh my god. She is the worst character in this whole fucking movie. You see her on the fucking poster of the fucking film. She is the worst character in this entire fucking movie. She is such a fucking bitch. Like, I hate her character. I mean, Penelope Cruz, she's like an okay actress in real life. She's like okay, but her character is just a real bitch. She's like a fucking bee. She's like a wasp that stings. That's how fucking terrible her fucking character is. That's how annoying her character is. It's like She's like a wasp. That's how terrible her... It's like she won't shut up throughout this whole movie. I'm like, why, why, did, why did George Jung marry this bitch? Honestly, like, that's another mistake that guy made. This guy does not know which women to, to marry. Like, he's, like, careless. This guy is, like, fucking careless. He has, like, this fucking big-ass mansion. He has these expensive cars and shit. You know, this and that. Like, this guy does not know how to handle this fucking money. You can't... If you're a drug dealer, you cannot be buying big-ass houses and fucking expensive-ass cars and shit. Like, you gotta know how to handle your money, dude. Like, keep your shit low-profile, like... That's one of his fucking problems. He's not low profile with his shit. Like, he, he don't think. He just don't think. Like I said, he's, he don't think. He's careless as shit. Doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Also, uh, what else is in this fucking movie? Uh, 
Emma Roberts plays uh, George Jung's uh, little daughter. And, um, yeah, she's in here. She's, you know, she's Eric Roberts' daughter in real life. Uh, also, Julia Roberts' uh, niece. Anyways, uh, what else is in here? Uh, it's just, I don't like this fucking movie. Like, Penelope Cruz is one of the worst parts of this fucking movie. Like, she is one of the worst parts. Like, this one scene where Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz are in his car and they're trying to escape to go to Florida while getting caught in trouble by the police. And there's a police car behind them and they're on the highway trying to get out of there to go to a different uh, state and shit. Penelope Cruz, she's high as shit. She starts doing these stupid, retarded ass shit, fucking licking George Jones' neck in the car. He's trying to drive, do all this goofy, dumbass shit. And, and he has a hard time driving. And the cops pull him over. They grab Penelope Cruz' crazy ass and put her ass in the uh, fucking uh, the police van. Not police van, police car. And George Jones gets in trouble. He gets put in jail for like a uh, like couple of years or something like that. Because it's her fault. She got him fucking caught and shit. Like, what the fuck? Like I said, it's his fault. He he has he had to fucking marry her and shit. He could have divorced her like a long time ago before that whole incident happened. And he would that shit would never happen. He would never have been to jail. So he's in jail and her fucking cunt bag ass shows up there and she started saying, I'm going to divorce you and I'm taking a child with me and you got you gotta pay child support and shit. Blah, 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 blah. Like, that fucking bitch. I, I fucking hate her. I just want to fucking strangle that bitch. Somehow, it's his fault that he's in jail. And she's, like, blaming him for it. Like, you're the fucking one. You're the one that fucking licking his neck and shit. Doing this weird shit in the car, you fucking bitch. It, it, you're the one that did all that shit. To make him put in fucking jail. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you serious? Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. She's like the worst part of this whole fucking movie. Like I said, it's his fault for marrying this chick. It's his fault for marrying this dumb broad. Like I said, this guy is not cautious at all about his money, about how he deals his drugs, uh, a person he should marry. He's just not cautious at all. He has no cautious in him. And that's the problem with this guy. That's why he gets caught so much times. Because he, he's not fucking smart. He doesn't have a fucking brain in his head. He does because he gets high on his own supply. We, if you get high on your own supply, you're not going to concentrate well. It's like in Scarface. Don't get high on your supply, which Tony did anyways. He snort all the cocaine up his fucking nose and shit. He got his whole brain turned into a powdered donut full of cocaine. At least the Scarface ending turned out fucking badass at the end. But not this fucking piece of shit. This, the ending of this movie fucking sucks. So we'll get to that soon. So later on, he gets out of jail once again. For like the million fucking time, he goes to talk to uh, Emma Roberts at the school, and she's like mad at him and shit. Like it's his fault he's in jail. It's really his fucking ex, fucking stupid, airheaded, dumb, broad wife. So he talks to Emma Roberts, saying that he's gonna do this for her, he's gonna do that for her, and make things more happy for her, this and that. And he said, "I'm gonna come by, I'm gonna pick you up, and you gonna go to California together. You know, pack your stuff up, this and that. I'll come back and pick you up." So. Before he did all that, before he goes to pick her up, which he, he doesn't because we'll, I'll tell you right now. So he goes to meet his old friends, his old buddies. We're going to do some uh, drug dealing stuff again. So his own buddies fucking rat him out. And that's the sad part about it. His, his own fucking buddies rat him out. They're working for the fucking DEA the whole fucking time. Like, But also it's his fault. It's George's fault for even trying to talk to them about, and you know, uh, making some money selling drugs again, this and that. It's his fucking fault. He should have did it with somebody else or, you know, come up with a different, you know, strategy or something instead of do the same shit over and over again. Come something different. But no, I'm going to do the same thing again. He didn't get caught by the police and DEA. And now he got started like 60 years in jail because he's a fucking dumbass. And his, his, his fucking kid hates him for life now. Everybody hates him now. His own fucking daughter hates him for life. And she never sees him again. And, like, the last scene, he's, like, in prison. The ending scene is fucking sucks. He's in prison, and he's talking to this uh, imaginary uh, adult daughter of his. And all of a sudden, uh, the officer's like, all right, come on. You can't be out here anymore. Come on. It's time to go inside. He's like, he's talking to nobody. I'm like, and the movie just ends. What a piece of shit ending. This whole movie fucking sucks. Fucking George Jung sucks. 
Boston George. Yeah, he's fucking Boston George, all right. Getting cream pied in jail up his ass. That's what he's fucking getting. This guy is one of the worst drug dealers I have ever seen in my entire life. Do you know what's a better true story movie? War Dogs. That shit kicks ass. This does not kick ass. This shit sucks. So, like I said, George Chung is terrible. He doesn't know how to be cautious. He knows how to be low profile. He started, he started buying all the expensive shit. He married this stupid airhead dumb broad that keeps storing cocaine up her ass. He made so many wrong moves and wrong errors. He doesn't know how to handle this shit. He does not. He doesn't know what he's doing. And, like, come on. Like, this is, like, embarrassing. Like, why do you make a movie about this guy? It's like, this shit is fucking terrible. Like, how do you make a movie about this guy? And this is directed by a guy named Ted Deem, who also plays a character Archie in here. And I don't know what else this guy fucking did, but let me check that out real quick. What else this fucking guy did? Besides this, he did a movie called Life with Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. He also did, uh... What other shit he did besides that? Oh shit, he died in 2002. What the fuck happened to this guy? Don't tell me what I think it is. What this guy fucking died of? Uh, da, 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 da. Heart attack at a bas celebrity basketball game while playing a celebrity basketball game. He had been had cocaine in his system. Wow, the irony of that. The fucking irony of that. So this guy directed a movie called Blow. Which is about drugs and cocaine. And this guy died of cocaine a year after he did that movie. How ironic that is. Isn't that fucking ironic? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's fucking ironic. He directed a movie about drugs. And he actually died of doing drugs. That is cocaine. Just like the movie Blow. Fuck. That's so, that's so fucking ironic, man. And hilarious. I mean, yeah, it's sad he died. But don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. But the movie title, Blow. Now, I understand Blow means, you know, doing drugs, you know, whatnot. You know, that's another name for drugs, Blow. But when I think of the word Blow, I think of Blow Jobs. You know, like, you know, suck a dick. I think of, like, something about porn in my head. I think of the word Blow. But this movie fucking blows. Get it? Huh? Because it does. It fucking does. I, I hate it. This movie's like a 2 out of 10. This movie sucks ass. Johnny did a good job, but... It, but George Jung, Boston George, this guy sucks. He gets caught like so many fucking times. I mean, it's understandable you get caught like once or twice, but Jesus Christ, this guy get caught like so many fucking times. I'm like, how the fuck? What kind of fucking drug dealer this guy is? This guy's like a fucking amateur. Oh my God, it's like amateur hour. This guy sucks. You want to watch a great Giant Dead movie? Go watch Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. That's a fucking better Johnny Depp movie. That shit kicks ass. But, oh my god. This movie sucks. And the other one I watched with Johnny Depp sucks. It's, it's called Black Mass. Oh god, Black Mass. That shit was trash, man. I don't know which one's worse. Blow or fucking Black Mass. Like, those two Johnny Depp movies are terrible. Like, I still haven't seen fucking uh, Donnie Brasco. I heard a lot of people say it's great. I haven't seen that one yet. But well, this one sucks balls, and especially Black Mass. Those movies sucks ass. But Fear of Loading Las Vegas is my favorite Johnny Depp movie. You gotta watch that fucking movie. That shit's a classic. It's just funny as hell.